Welcome to episode two of Inside the Lair with Kirby and Blair. Today is Wednesday, January 27th, and it's been a busy week for KW Activities. Let's start things off with wrestling. Kirby, go ahead. Last week, on Thursday, the Knights hosted a triangular with Byron and Cassid Manorville coming to town, and it was a big-time showdown. Small-town throwdown, as some people say, but the gym was packed regardless. First up for the Knights were the Bears, and the Bears came in with a pretty respectable record of 14-1, and but they ran into a KW buzzsaw. Check this out, Blair. KW received pins from Jaron Matson, Ethan Coda, Seth Brossard, Jared Clawitter, Bradley Kish, Tyler Ryan, Dylan Craig, Ted Androli, Luke Redsicle, Kyle Lindell, and Austin Jackson. You ran out of fingers. I almost had to take my shoes off and start <laughs> counting with my toes. The final score, KW 76, Byron 6. After that, the Knights then collided with nationally ranked 26th ranked Cass in Manorville. The Comets came into the triangular undefeated with a record of 12 and 0. It was a big time battle at the castle and points were hard to come by. The Knights put up a good fight, but eventually lost 30 to 21. To see pictures of the triangular, click on Post Bulletin's Scott Jacobson's Twitter feed right now. And thanks to Scott for his coverage and his hard work throughout the high school prep sports season. And I know it wasn't only Josh or Scott Jacobson that was there. All the media that was there, thanks for covering the boys. The boys really appreciate it and gets all the little kids pumped up as well. And all the sports too, Kirby. Right. They come out. Uh, it's great to see all that coverage uh, for this area. It's great. Moving on. On Monday night, the Knights hosted their final regular season home match, and they welcomed in the Tigers from Stewartville. The Tigers entered the duel with a 10-6 and record, and they thought they could keep it close, but in the end, it ended up being KW 43-13. to Matson again with a pin. Coda, Ryan, and Redsicle also added pins. Before the match, Ethan Coda was recognized for his 100th win. Congratulations to him. And there were some other recent milestones that were made and achieved. Let's see. Matthew Hooglum had 50 wins. Jared Clawitter picked up his 50th pin. Seth Donkers had 50 wins. And Ted Androli, 75 pins. Congratulations to them. Anything else you want to add about that? Just a fantastic achievement. And if you've ever seen these wrestlers, they work so hard in practice and in the matches. Uh, they work out. I would say they probably are the hardest working athletes at KW. Now they move on with a 22-3 and record and coming up for the Knights. They travel to Zombrota Mazeppa for some cougar hunting on Friday some night. good old-fashioned cougar Good old-fashioned cougar oh, hunting. Yeah. The Cougars stand with a record of 17-8. and eight. Good, not great. And this rivalry is one of the best around. It's so fierce, and we all know why it's so fierce. The Knights are also in the Cannon Falls Tournament on Saturday, so we wish the Knights, the Grapplers, the very best of luck this weekend. Moving on to boys basketball. The boys took the 90-minute trip to LeSueur Henderson last week, putting up a solid second-half effort against the Giants, but coming up short, losing 74-62. to Gavin Rusin led the way for the Knights with 17 points and 8 assists. Ryan Pelkey, Kelvin Steberg, and Blake Jacobson all scored in double figures for the Knights. Here are a few highlights from that game. Last night, your Knights 
Most of the Panthers from Pine Island. The conference foe came in with a record of 8-10 and 10 on the season. The Panthers shot the ball extremely well and exploited some weaknesses in the Knights' defense, coming away with a convincing 75-41 win over your beloved Knights. The Knights' not record now moves to 2-16 and 16 on the season, and looking ahead, the Knights will play at home on Friday night against Goodhue as part of that boys and girls doubleheader against the Wildcats. Goodhue is on a two-game losing streak and has a record of 13-7. and seven. Early next week on Monday, the boys will head to St. Peter, and on Tuesday, we'll head to Zambroda to take on the aforementioned Cougars coach. Your thoughts on last night and the rest of the season. Well, Sewer Henderson, last week, we really put a tough effort up in the second half, whittling a 20-some point deficit, cutting that to three points. Great second half effort. We just came up short. And on Thursday, excuse me, yesterday and Tuesday, the Pine Island game, our effort level was not the same. And the, reason, the score showed it. And we need to fix that effort level moving forward. Be fun to see what happens. It was fun at Goodhue in the doubleheader. I'm looking forward to this one. They might have the good malts at Goodhue, but we have the better fans. So come out and support <laughs> your lady nights and your men's nights. It's going to be a fun night of basketball in the castle. Speaking of the girls, the girls hosted Rochester Lured last week, and the Eagles came in with a six and nine victory. Excuse me, six and nine record on the season. Mar Quam led the way for the Knights, pouring in 37 points. 37 points. That's a lot of points. That is a lot of points. And how many points was it? She tied the school record for points in a game by a female, tying Shelby Osef. So congratulations tomorrow on uh, achieving that record. Pretty cool side note here. With the 37 points, Mara passed her dad, Jason Quam, on the points list for a career. Jason Quam is the KW leader for boys basketball career points with 1,170, and Mara Kwam, only a junior, has now passed him off. That's an interesting fact, Tully Kirby. That's very cool. Pretty cool, she's got bragging rights there. Uh, Savannah Blees against the Eagles chipped in 13 points, and Tess Holkinson added nine. Congratulations for the girls for that win. Last night, they got on the bus and headed to Pine Island uh, without Mara Kwam as she was home sick. The Panthers came to the contest with a 500 record of 9-9, nine and nine, and the Knights uh, had a rough first half, getting down 40-22 to 22 in the first half, eventually losing 46-71. The Knights' record is 17, excuse me, 12-7 and seven on the year. Without your star players, sometimes it's hard to measure up, but I think Coach Lurk and his team, they'll get ready. They'll be ready to go against Goodyear. That's going to be a great matchup on Friday night. Like you said, the girls tip off Friday night, 6 o'clock against the Wildcats. The Wildcats beat the Knights in their first matchup, so KW is definitely looking for some revenge of that first matchup. Here's Coach Lurkin with a preview of the game. Hi, I'm here with Brent Lurkin, and he's the head coach of the Knights girls basketball team. Coach, tell us about the big game with Goodyear coming up on Friday. Well, we're looking forward to it. Um, they're a really tough team. They're a number one ranked team in Class A and it's going to be a fun one on Friday night with the double header and we're excited to play against a tough team and um, you know it's going to be a fun one hopefully we get a great crowd here tonight on Friday night. Well I know you'd like to get the bad taste out of your mouth from last night's loss. Uh, maybe tell us a little bit about the game last night? Yeah, yeah it was a tough one for us. Um, you know we played really well against Pine Island at home and we went over there and um, they brought some intensity the first half that we weren't able to match and uh, you know, we gave up 40 points in the first half and just didn't play very well. But second half, we did play a lot better, and hopefully that'll give us a little bit of momentum coming into Friday. Where do you stand right now in the conference standings? Um, Goodhue's leading the conference, and then um, Hayfield's behind them, and then we're third in the blue division. So we're uh, kind of battling with Hayfield for second place right now. All right. Thanks, Coach Lurkin, for taking some time to be with us. The Wildcats have a record of 16-2, and, and they are ranked number one in the Class A in Minnesota. The Knights' QRF ranking, as of right now, is 22. Not bad, but they look to improve that moving forward. After Goodyear, they host Zambrota Mazeppa at the Castle. Now, here's something to really cheer about. The cheerleaders from KW have been working very hard to fundraise to help get them to Orlando for the National Cheerleading Competition. The team recently held a chili feed and silent auction at JB's in Wanamingo. It's a great event. Going to the national competition and cheerleading is a very big honor 
for this team. And after talking to Coach Shannon Schaefer, she confirmed that ESPN, yes, that ESPN, will broadcast the competition via an online stream in early February. Good luck to those girls. They work extremely hard. and We hope they have a very good time in Orlando and come home with some hardware. You know, those girls do work hard. They're here a lot. And they put in a lot of work behind the scenes. And I just want to congratulate Coach Schaefer. She has really built that program up. And I want to congratulate all the girls too. A very, very cool honor. And I hope they do well. And I hope they are confident and that they will do well. So, congratulations to them. Well, let's tell them a little bit about the poll we have going on, Kirby. Talk about our next show and future shows. We're always taking input. And there's our poll question. Kirby, let us know about the poll question. Poll question. All you got to do is click on one of the two answers of which background you like better. Last week we had the file cabinet and a couple of chairs in the background. Or this week we have this nice, elegant, luxurious red curtain, courtesy of Mrs. Boyle. Thanks again to Mrs. Boyan for allowing us to use her studio slash classroom. And thank you to all of you for the very kind comments, uh, questions, feedback, uh, suggestions. We love it all. We love to hear. You can tweet me at hometownguy33. Kirby, they can reach you at? They can reach me at kvandywalker on the Twitter dial. And we look forward to hearing what you have to say, any ways for us to improve, and maybe even a sponsor by the end of this. Who knows? But uh, for Blair, I'm Kirby. And we are inside the lair with Kirby and Blair. We'll see you next time. Have a great day.